Now, same with nozzle analysis. There are also special cases in mesh analysis. So first special case is when a branch includes a current source. So for this example, find the mesh current IA. We have the mesh current IA, IA right here. And we assign um, mesh currents to the other two meshes. We have mesh current IB and mesh current IC. So if you take a look at the mesh IB, this mesh includes a current source in uh, one branch to so this 10 ampere a current source. So if this is the case, IB is just equivalent to the uh, current source of the branch. So if IB is in, in this direction, clockwise direction, and 10 ampere current is going to that direction, so IB is equivalent to negative 10 ampere. So same with mesh IC, we have a uh, current source in this branch. So even though this is a dependent uh, current source, it's still, it is still included in this special case. Now for this uh, mesh right here, mesh current IC is an equivalent to the value of this dependent current source. So 2 EV over 5. So KVL at mesh IA, we have negative 75 plus 2 times IA minus IB plus 2, I mean 5 times IA minus IC equivalent to 0. So we all know that IB is just equivalent to negative 10 amperes and IC is equivalent to 2 VV over 5. So we have 25 plus 2 times IA. We have negative times uh, negative 10, so we have still 10 plus 5. IA minus 2 2 VV over 5 plus 2 0. So we combine like terms. We have 7 IA minus 2 VV equal to 55. We have uh, equation number one. We still have this uh, known variable right here, VP. So, what is VP? VP? So looking at the, the 5 ohm branch. VP just equivalent to 5 times IA minus IC. So where IC is equivalent to 2 VP for 5. We have 5 over IA minus 2 over 5 VP. So the situation becomes 5 IA minus 2 BP. BP is just equivalent to 5 over 3 IA. 
We have now equation number two. So having two equations, we can now solve for I A and I A is just equivalent to fifteen amperes, and V P is just equivalent to twenty ten volts. So next special case is the current source between two meshes. So we treat the two meshes as one mesh and it is called a super mesh. Now for this figure right here, there is a current source. So this current source right here is between mesh IA and mesh IC. So to demonstrate a super mesh, Let's apply KVL at IA and IC. So KVL at IA, we have negative 100 plus 3 times IA minus IB plus B. Then plus six i a equivalent to zero. We have nine i a minus three i b plus v equivalent to one hundred. Label is as equation one. Next, EVL at i c. We have negative V plus 2 IC minus IB plus 50 plus 4 IC equal to 0. So we have negative 2 IB plus 6 IC minus V minus V plus 50 equivalent to 0 so if we um, relate IV to the mesh currents IB and IC we have V equivalent to negative 2 IB plus 6 IC plus 50 equation number two. So if we use this equation number two, substitute the value of IB, I mean the, to substitute the value of V right here. So this equation becomes 9AA minus AIB plus we have negative 2 IB plus 6 IC plus 50 equivalent to 100. We have 9 IA minus 5 IB plus 6 IC equivalent to 50. Leave this equation as is. So the concept of super mesh that we treat mesh IA and mesh IC as one mesh. We treat this as one mesh. And this becomes a super mesh. So applying KVL at super mesh, we have negative 100 plus 3 times IA minus IB plus 2 times IC minus IB 
plus 50 plus 4IC plus 6IA equivalent to 0. So combining like terms, we have 9IA minus 5IB plus 6IC equivalent to 50. Look, equation right here. This equation. They are just the same. When a current source is between two meshes, we apply the concept of supermesh. Now, for this example, use mesh analysis to find the power dissipated in the one ohm resistor in the circuit. We need to find power. So, use mesh analysis. So, first let's assign mesh currents. So we have mesh IA and mesh IB and then mesh IC. So, as you can see right here, this branch, this is a uh, current source and it is between two meshes mesh IA and mesh IB. So we have a super mesh right here. This is the super mesh. So KVL at super mesh we have negative 10 plus 2 IB plus 2 times IB minus IC plus 2 times IA minus IC equivalent to 0. So combining like terms, we have 2 IA plus 4IB minus 4IC equivalent to 10. We have equation number 1. So KVL at mesh IC we have 2 times IC minus IA plus 2 times IC minus IB minus 6 minus IC and plus IC plus 2 0. Now we have negative 2 IA minus 2 IB plus 5 IC plus 2 6. Application number 2. Where do we get the third equation? Since we have three unknowns IA, IB, and IC. So looking at the super mesh, the branch current 2 amperes, we can relate this current source to the mesh current IA and IB. So at super mesh, two ampere branch. Two amperes is just equivalent to IA minus IB. We have now equation number two. We can now solve for IA, IB, and then IC. 
So IA is equivalent to 7 amperes. IB is equivalent to 5 amperes. And IC is equivalent to 6 amperes. So having IC, we can now get power dissipated by the 1 ohm resistor. It is equivalent to IC squared times 1. Equivalent to 36 watts.